First of all, it was a collective of, of 10 men coming together to utilise um, cooking as a skill effectively and a tool for them to actually uh, work together to achieve recipes, memories. Um, but as well as that, we, we certainly know under the strategy Connecting for Life, you know, for, for mental health, that men are often isolated, you know, and I think it's really important that, you know, bringing, bringing groups of men together, but in a creative way and an energetic way and a fun way, you know, I think that's really important. And I think all the, all the ingredients were here, you know, in the context of the garden, the kitchen, you know, all it needed really was putting together. But I think it's great to see them all kind of uh, blossom throughout the course also as well. Cooking is a life skill, right? And I think it's really important to make sure that you have the ability and skill set to do that. But for me, what's important is that they have something tangible in their hands. So the collective of their recipes really put together in some sort of tangible book, which was really important. It was something that would, that would live long in their lives in the sense of a memory of a particular cooking course. And I think we at the HSC in Cork Community Healthcare are delighted to be participating with Niche Community Care in relation to this project because we feel that the more collaborative work that we do uh, in an innovative way, in a creative way, and in a very practical way, where we believe that, young, uh, that, that certainly uh, you know, adults and men really come together and, and develop a, a beautiful cookbook like they did. I think in terms of uh, Niche as a project, what we always try to do is something kind of a little bit innovative, kind of think outside the box. And I think in terms of a group of men who uh, come from different circumstances and backgrounds with different skill sets, I think introducing cooking into their lives was something very important. And I think as well in terms of like a group dynamic, in terms of uh, men coming together, to do something that they probably normally wouldn't do together, I think was very, very important. And I think from a niche perspective as well, it's just, um, it's just really, really nice to see um, you know, something blossom and people to learn and develop and gain confidence from a new skill set that some of them already learned. Uh, from this particular program. Coming into an environment like this, knowing that you know, they have you know, um, a program, knowing that they're supported by a group of lads, by a facilitator and by the project, I think is, is, is absolutely excellent. And you can actually see it has really, really impacted them in a positive manner. It's important to come away with something, you know, and it's important to come away with something tangible in your hand. And notwithstanding, this is the first men's group in the whole country that have developed a men's only cookbook for themselves. And I think that alone itself is really important. Not only are the men here in Ochnahini leading the way in this process, but they also have the capacity now and the opportunity to lead other men's groups into develop their own cookbook in that context. There are a huge amount of community gardens around the country and there's no reason why we can't link to the community gardens back into the home kitchens and back into teaching life skills in relation to cooking. Fun. Great crack and a great laugh. I look forward to coming up here every week to meet the lads, have a crack and enjoy it. Friendly fun and great crack with the lads and I enjoy the cooking. It's been an excellent couple of weeks, all the lads have been very supportive to each other and they've loved coming here. Great experience and they learned a lot of good things about it as well, about cooking. Fantastic, entertaining and it was the best 10 weeks of my life. Hey, well, mate, it's a lot, I'll be back again for the next one.